In this video, I want to introduce common variables and demonstrate how to use them. So the first thing I did was I added the variable window here by either pressing Alt-B on my keyboard or coming up to the drop-down menus and selecting Calculate Show Variables. And I just dragged and dropped it to lock it here in between my code and my simulator. So what are common variables? Well, they're included with all Fanuc machines. And the way we code them is we put the pound sign or the number sign for us older farts and we say what variable number for example number 100 number 101 number 500 so number 100 to 149 are included with the machine but what you need to be aware of with the 100 series variables if the power should go out whatever stored in them is reset to zero variables number 150 to number 199 are optional and you pay extra to get those then we have variables number 500 to 531, and they're included. And then variables number 532 to number 999 are optional. And don't code variables above 999. Those are all system variables. And we do not want to mess with them unless we're absolutely certain of what we're doing. So in this, I want to focus with common variables. And all they are is a place to store a positive and a negative number. So I could code geo one x 1.0 and I'll give it a feed rate of 50. And if I simulate that, what do we get? We get the cutter goes to this position. And then I could move it to x two and a half. So again, I'll simulate that. We don't see much. We draw a little line. So I could also replace this with a variable. So I could say move x to position, whatever stored in variable 100. Now I would need to set variable 100 and I could go to the machine controller and do that or I could set that here in my code. I could say number 100 equals two and a half and I'll have the exact same thing happen when I simulate. It'll move from one to x two and a half. And the other thing we'll notice we see here what variable I'm using and what it equals. I can also use these in simple equations. So I could say x put square brackets, anything in square brackets is a logic statement and your CNC controller will solve that logic. And I could say variable 150 plus variable 100 is my x location. So again, I would need to tell it what's in variable 150. So I could enter 150 equals 1.25. So if I now run this, we can see two things. Over here it shows me variable 100 equals this, variable 150 equals this, and my x has moved to 3.75, the addition of these two. I could also change this statement to say that variable 500 equals these two variables together, in which case I wouldn't need the square brackets. And then if I refresh that, over here it shows me my variables, what they all are, and 500 adds up to these two. So I can program very complex equations into the machine using variables and other logic functions that we'll look at much later in this course. But for now, I want to introduce these variables because in the next video, we're gonna go and use those in the subprogram over here so we don't need to so we don't need to have a separate sub program for these two passes we'll just use this and we'll use a variable to make them work properly